So somebody asked me a question about learning to code. Let me just read it and I'll give you my response. Is it possible that someone cannot be that excited about learning to code, but willing to put in the effort in order to obtain the life coding can give that individual? Maybe it will become more exciting as more time is spent coding. That's a very good question. It has to do with pretty much anything in life. I think there are ex expectations when you go into something and oftentimes that expectations could be, uh, that expectation rather could be accurate or not. I think with coding, uh, there's a lot of mis misconceptions. There are a lot of misconceptions out there vis-a-vis -vis coding because people don't really know what coding lifestyle is really about. There's so many different types of coding that you can do front end, back end, full stack, small device, game engine development, AI, web design, uh, UI, UX, that's front end, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They're very different, very, very different. When I was actively developing as a freelancer, I would touch on many different types of coding. For me, that variety made it kind of fun. One day I'd be doing front end, other day I'd be doing uh, back end, uh, highly detailed process, process, processes in terms of the code. Other times the projects are more architectural. It really, it really depended on the particular job at hand. That said, you will find a particular niche that makes sense for you. So if you are visually inclined, artistically inclined, I believe with understanding and once you get the skill, I think front end UI UX development will make sense for your needs. There's no question about that because it's really a visual thing, um, a design thing, design logic, if you will, how you organize things so it's easy to understand. The coding that you do to implement this becomes just a set of tools. So if I was to make an analogy like uh, a musician. A musician may have their favorite uh, instrument, whether it be uh, guitar or pianos or drums or whatnot. But at the end of the day, what gives most musicians their buzz is, is the ability to play music. And they'll have their favorite instrument, but playing music is the key. So the key is whether or not you like to play music, not so much do you like guitar or drums. You choose whatever instrument you want to play. Software developments like that as well. Coding is like that as well. There's so there's so much variation in the profession that it kind of suits many personality types. That's why I teach the web stack because you have both the artistic end of things, front end. You also have an expression of the back end end of things, which is the detail, uh, the logical uh, end of things, if you will. And if you're really into math and high level abstraction and so forth, you can get into AI development or game engine development like that. There's, there's a lot of variety. So with this particular individual, they're wondering, you know, they're not excited about code, but they're excited about the lifestyle. Well, a lot of people see the advantage of the coding lifestyle, the flexibility, the high pay, uh, the abundance of job opportunities out there. So, you know, of course, that's uh, that was my main motivation, to be totally honest with you. Once I got into it, though, I found it was pretty interesting to build systems. I like building systems and having people use those systems and interact with it. I got a kick out of that personally. So my advice to you is that you uh, dip your toe in it and you don't just do one or two days or try to do some advanced course. That's the worst thing you can do. You dip your toe in it, you start with some found fundamentals courses, beginners courses, and discipline yourself initially just so you can so you can get your head wrapped around the whole coding thing so you can understand what the whole world is about. And once you've done that, then you have a much better idea uh, what type of coding you might like to do and whether or not you like it to begin with. You will likely find some niche in software development, in coding, that will appeal to you. Why? Because there's such a wide variety of things that you can do in the coding world. But you do have to get over that initial hurdle, that initial complexity hump that you're going to have to jump over before the whole world opens up. It's, um, 
you get that with anything you do. I got that with martial arts and boxing. I got that with, uh, you know, judo and, and uh, you know, kung fu's. And I got that with business and, and everything in development, of course. Once you get through or past that first hurdle, just so you get your head wrapped around the whole subject in general, then the rest becomes much clearer. So I would start off light, discipline yourself to complete at least the, those beginner's courses, and then you can make your choice. You can't lose either way because if you come out there, if you come out the other end, having done a course, and you say, ah, I don't really want to code, you will have strengthened your brain, you have worked it out in a different way, and you're going to have a new perspective on things, which will make you better at whatever, whatever else you happen to work on. I hope this helps. Bye-bye.